is very relevant for CMA part 2 students, ACCA F9 financial management students, ACCA P4 advanced financial management or anybody who is interested in strategic financial management or advanced financial management. Guys, I am the Commerce Specialist. Uh, welcome to my channel where you'll find videos covering learning outcomes of various academic qualifications and professional certifications including life-changing business ideas and concepts. In this video, I'm going to discuss a very important concept of strategic financial management, which we call crossover rates. So what are crossover rate? Crossover rate is a rate, it's a discount rate at which we are indifferent between two projects. Or in other words, crossover rate is that rate at which two different projects will give the same NPV. So if it gives the same NPV, we will be indifferent whether to choose project A or B. In order to understand crossover rate, you should know how to calculate NPV, how to calculate IRR, what is discount rate. For all this, I've already made a video on capital budgeting and investment appraisal. I'll uh, keep the link in the description. You can watch that video first. You'll have all the basic understanding and then you'll be able to understand what are crossover rates. Now for explaining crossover rates, I've given a, a scenario here. There are two projects, project alpha and beta. If you look at both projects has different initial investment requirements. If you want to invest in project A, you will have to invest 100,000 in the beginning and it will give you annual cash flows of $30,000 for a period of five years. If you want to invest in project beta, uh, your initial investment is 300,000, which gives you an annual cash flow of 88,000 for a period of five years. Now we need to know what is the crossover rate means what should be the discount rate at which both the projects will give the same NPV and we are fine choosing any project. Why this concept is important? I will tell you once we calculate the crossover rate. How to go about crossover rates? You have to uh, form an equation here. Forming an equation is very simple. Uh, look at this. Uh, these annual cash flows, these are annuities. So if I want to calculate NPV for project A, the equation will be every year I'm getting 30,000 as annuity multiplied by the annuity factor, which I don't know. So I'm just taking it as X. So it will be like 30,000 into X minus the initial investment. This is what I do to calculate NPV. This is my initial investment. This is annual annuities into annuity factor. When I minus, I should be getting NPV. Now, whatever NPV I get here should be equal to the NPV of this, right? So what is the cash flows here? 88,000 into annuity factor. I don't know. I'm writing X minus the initial investment, which is 300,000. Now, when I solve this equation for X, I will get the crossover rate. And that crossover rate shows us that only if the discount rate is this much, only then we'll be indifferent investing in project A or B. Irrespective, they have different initial investment, they have different cash flows, but we will be indifferent. So we need to know what is the indifference rate. Now for the discount rate or hurdle rate, there are different words and terms used. You need to know, we can call it discount rate, we can call it hurdle rate, we can call it rate of return, we can call it investor's rate of return, we can call it going rate, we can call it cost of capital, whatever, but meaning is the same. So now what we are going to find out is, what should be the discount rate, the hurdle rate, at which we will be indifferent between these two. So if I solve this for x, so if I take this, that, bring it here, this will be 30,000x minus 88,000x is equal to 300,000, which is minus, obviously, this goes there, it will be plus 100,000. Okay, so 88 minus 30 will be minus 58,000x, and uh, this will be minus this plus this will be minus 200,000. Okay, you can cancel the signs. So X would be 200,000 divided by 58,000. So when we divide 200,000 by 58,000, we are getting X equal to 3.448. Now, once you get this 3.448, actually this is the annuity factor. Next step is 
to check in the annuity table the present value annuity table is like this here you got n which is the number of years we have to look at project which is five years so we have to look at five years and here we have present value interest factor for annuities and we have percentages and there are amounts let's say we have one percent five percent let's say uh, 13 percent 14 percent so on so forth we have to look at the amount there are annuity factors here something which is close so when you look in the table you will find this value comes very close between 13 and 14 percent actually at 13 percent the annuity factor which we're getting in the table is 3.517 and at 14 percent if you look at this value it is 3.433 so you can add these two and divide by two so you get something close to this which means the average of this is 13.5 in other words if the discount rate if the investors required return is 13.5 percent given these data we are indifferent between choosing project alpha or beta it's a very important uh, calculation, uh, especially in decision making. Sometimes we are negotiating the discount rate with the bank. We also need to understand how discount rates or the hurdle rates are calculated. That is discussed in detail when we talk about weighted average cost of capital. So you have your cost of capital plus you add your risk premium. That is the investor's required rate of return. So for example, to make the example very simple, if we are to borrow from bank, to invest in the project so we are indifferent between these two projects if the hurdle rate the discount rate is 13.5 percent another example could be if the project we need to invest and obviously if we are a public limited company we have investors they are financing us it's their money which we are investing so their required rate of return if it is 13.5 we are okay investing in any of these projects because they give the same NPV I hope you have understood the importance and calculation of crossover rates. If you have any questions or queries, you can email me, you can WhatsApp me, you can leave a comment down and I will respond to you. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Press the bell notification button so that you get my videos as soon as they are released. If you like this video, please share it with your dear and near ones so that others can also benefit. Thank you so very much for your precious time. Thank you.